Hello, it's I, April, back again. Another video to talk about things that I'm making and creating. I have a lot of things to talk about, so I'm gonna like talk quickly, get straight to the point. First thing is first, finished objects. <laughs> this is a finished object that was not on my last video, or this wasn't even a whip on my last video. It wasn't even part of it whatsoever. So out of just sheer, ooh, I have the yarn and I really wanna make something fast. I decided to make a Felix pullover out of da -da -da -da. Riverfront, yeah, Riverstone, <laughs> Riverfront, the wet Riverfront, 100% wool, and the color is red. Honestly, it looks fuchsia pink to me, but my son and everybody else see red. When I think of red, I think of like a true red candy apple, like red, not, which I know this is in the red family, but it is what it is. My eyes see fuchsia pink. So this is the Felix pullover. I made it a size medium, and this is my second time making this pullover. The first time I made it, it was size small. And I made this out of 100% acrylic. Um, <laughs> right here, Felix Pullover by Amy Christopher. Okay, so I used the Lion Brand Wool East and Color Forest Green Heather. It kind of has like a goldy specks to it. It's, I wore this a lot. I made this November 12th, 2019 is when I finished this. So a year ago, almost a year ago. And this one that I'm wearing is, um, like I said, size medium. And I use like three skeins. And it's made out of a US size 10 is the main needle. So that's why it like knits up really fast. The things that I did um, differently, they, it does call for a provisional cast on, but I use the slingshot method cast on, provisional cast on, so I don't have to use a crochet needle and uh, leftover yarn. Um, I think it calls for decreasing all down the seas. Oh, the other thing that I did differently is I did a high low for the back. So it has some short row shaping. Can you see? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. This is, has short row shaping in the back. I think I did probably three rows of German short rows and yeah, I probably made it a little bit longer than the pattern. So those are my only for real um, changes. I didn't do a provisional cast on in the sleeves because <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, I just did Jenny stretchy bind off for the sleeves and I didn't do any type of stretchy bind off for the ribbing because it's, um, it's a fairly big sweater, so not huge, but it's oversized for me. Uh, also, I've noticed with this wool, it likes to peel like nobody's business. As you can see, there's not much peeling over here because I use my handy dandy gleaner. Cha chow, okay. Well, yes, you can see, <laughs> I've been using it. I use it on my body, on the body of the sweater and on this sleeve. And this is what the other sleeve look like before it's been gleaned. Can you see the difference? Yeah. You see all that? Yeah. Versus this, after it's been gleaned, <laughs> there's a big difference. I've worn this sweater a good bit of times. When I went to North Carolina, I wore it a lot because it was rainy and cold up there. Um, 
this was the go-to sweater for that trip. So no regrets. That's why we have a gleaner. It is what it is. So that's my FO number one. Um, FO number two. <sighs> that test net is done. Da, da, da. <laughs> I'll definitely have to either put in a clip or a photo of Mason wearing this hat. I am very proud, very, very proud of this hat. It is finally finished. Um, this is made out of a zero size, size zero for the ribbing, zero as in US, and US one for the body of the hat. Wow. Okay, it took me over a month to finish this. But no regrets because my husband wears it all the time. He wears it every day and he really likes it and appreciates it. So if you are a knit worthy person, a knitter will so much appreciate it when you wear the things that they make because I spent a lot of time on this. <laughs> so yay, the Astro hat is done. This was not on my last video. This was another, ooh, I wanna make something really fast. <laughs> and I wanna make my child something. So I made him two sweaters. The first one, I'll put in a photo. Isn't he the cutest thing ever? <laughs> He's just the cutest thing. I love him to death. Um, that was his picture day sweater. I guess I'll show you, I'll show you his, one out of three poses that his school put him in or that the photo the photographer put him in um as a photographer am i happy with these photos no but why did i get them because my child is only four once in his life and he's only going to have that knitted garment <laughs> For so long before he can't wear anymore and I wanted photos. Yes, I could take them myself and I did, which you could see. Um, it's a school photo. It was just something about it. I was homeschooled. I never had a school photo, you know, so maybe it's my issues. As I digress, let me show you. <laughs> oh, uh, he's so cute in his little handmade sweater. The next handmade sweater that I made him that he hasn't worn yet. Um, and the reason why I'm not even showing it right now is because he's wearing it at school right now. But this. This is the Frankie sweater. And I made it reversible. So he's he wears it, he's gonna wear it like this, but he can also wear it inside out. I think, yeah, he can also wear this inside out. I made sure to weave in the ends in a way that this could happen. <laughs> and this is the other side. Isn't that neat? I think it's neat. I really, 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 really like this sweater. It looks so cute on him and it feels really, really good. Like really, really good. Mm. That's the Frankie. Oh, should I tell you who it's by? It's by Mason, I'm assuming that's how you say, Mason Dean. And I knit him the first size. And this is a size US 8, US 7 needle. So it flew off the needles, I would say fairly quickly, fairly quickly. I have, I bought three skeins of this and I have one full skein left and this left what that's a good bit so 
I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. It could be, a, okay, I could do a hat. I could have a hat. There you go. So FO number three. This was in my last video and I have finished it and I love it and it's the dip tea. <laughs> it's done, isn't she pretty? I talked about all the decent thing in the last video. Yes, I did. It's so cute. Oh, and it feels really good. Um, like I said in the last video, it's not really cropped, but it's kind of cropped. Just depends on what you're wearing. If I wear it with this, these pants, maybe. A mid drift. <laughs> the next FO, it was in the last video as well, and I've been working on this since March. It is now finally complete. Da, da, da. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so big and it's awesome it is the traveling european shawl and this did put in some travel it put in some travel we went places we did things and now it's all in stitches so i love wearing it like this especially when i go into the office because it's really cold um why have i never made shawls it's so good and also can wear it like this there's so many different ways to wear it so many different ways like a traditional scarf and have it all booched up around your neck it's so soft this is the best merino wool that i have worked with this yarn as well as the frankie sweater yarn is from the same indie dyer from germany marianne i feel like i'm not saying her name correctly um she makes really good stuff and her dye her dyeing is on point i love the speckling i love the colors the color the pop of the color my son really wanted a rainbow sweater so that's why i got the the kaleidoscope is what this is called kaleidoscope is why i got this because it has all these little different colors in it the rainbow who doesn't like a rainbow okay next fo that wasn't a part of my last video. Just another, I want to make something quick. <laughs> yeah, the Sophie. Or what I like to say, the Sophie 2.0. Because I did a few things differently than what the pattern called for. Um... I only did 12 repeats of the eyelets. I only picked up 25 stitches and then I cast it on three. And for the arm, I did, I think, I think, yeah, all the way around, I knit two together to make the this shaped sleeve, but I like this balloon, balloony type sleeve. I also, what else did I do differently? Yeah, the ribbing. I did the ribbing at the bottom instead of just doing straight stocking it to have that curl like I do on my first Sophie sweater. It has a curl at the bottom for the rib, for the hem. I wanted ribbing because I like ribbing. And I also did the provisional cast on for the ribbing as well. 
Do 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 do. Sophie 2.0. She cute. Okay, she's so cute. Like you can't tell me nothing. She's so cute. <laughs> I like the Sophie. The Sophie is a keeper. This is made out of. It's a Michaels brand. It's a hundred percent. No, it's cotton and nylon blend. Or is it cotton polyester? It comes in a really big hang or cake. Here's the cake. It is called Crim Cotton uh, Loops and Threads. It has 432 yards in it. So I used one and a little bit of the second skein to make Sophie. And Sophie pattern is one size fits all. Um, well, no, <laughs> it's not one size fits all. It's just a one size pattern. So I think that's why the pattern is not all that popular is because there's only one size, which is a 38 inch bust. Um, but it's, I, I can, it's really easy to manipulate, super easy to manipulate. So what I'm gonna do with this ball is I'm gonna use the numbers off of the Sophie sweater to make a sweater that kind of resembles the shirt that I made for my son. Because, I mean, I have the white, I mean the gray and the, the white, so I can make <laughs> similar shirt just because I wanna be twins. <laughs> <laughs> with my son i know that's so lame so i think that's it that's it for my that's it for all my fo's i did a good bit of foing finishing finishing things up um i'm on the i'm still on the train of finishing things and getting things off my needles so i still have my zebra pullover but unfortunately i did have to rip it back I was just not happy with how it was looking. It was, the workmanship was just not the business. And it's the back of the sweater. So whoever was looking at my back and will be able to, <laughs> I just, I, I don't like it. So I ripped it back and now <laughs> I'm only here. <laughs> So man, I was like way up here and now, well, the joys of knitting. I had to frog it back because I wanted it to be right. I wanted it to be right. And once again, I'm stopped in the middle of a row. So I can't show you the entirety of the sweater, but it's coming along. It's looking a whole lot better. I'm a whole lot happier with my floats because those folks before were mm -mm, mm -mm, girl it was disrespectful it was just disrespectful so <laughs> so i fixed it i fixed it <laughs> it looks a whole lot better so yay to that that whip is whipping along my next whip that's almost finished this is almost finished and it's my my Secret Crop Top by Jessie Mae. Making it in black. This will be finished the next time I make a video, of course. Unless, you know, I die or something, God forbid. This is made out of 100% wool. Peyton's Classic Wool, to be exact, from Michael's. Um, it's a reasonable yarn. Um, you may, if you are sensitive to wool, you probably won't like this, but I feel like it, it softens up over wear and over time. It softens up and it's, I will, I mean, it's this is a tank top. I will wear this up against my skin, no problem. I've got one sleeve or one uh, strap almost ready to go, working on the other one. I tried doing these two at a time and I just kept tangling up the yarn because I'm using one ball to do these straps. 
And I'm like, it's just too, it was too much, it's too much. So I'm just, it's faster for me to just do one at a time. So that's, that's close to being done. Yay, my secret crop top. Using the size uh, US3 and US5. I'm still working on memorizing the millimeters to these. <sighs> so that's a daunting task, but yes. <laughs> so this is my secret crop top, whip number two on the way. Whip number three is that grid lines, which there's not a whole lot to show, honestly. I finished with one piece. Well, I didn't even finish that. Well, I did what the instructions said. This is where it told me to um, put it on a cable and then cast on for the back. So now I'm working on the back and I haven't gotten that far either. <laughs> and see, this is like a fuchsia pink. And when I look in the camera, they, these two colors look kind of too close okay so the grid lines pull over still working on that not much to talk about there it's a new cast on and it's going quickly it's a sock <laughs> and it looks really huge doesn't it but I think it's going to be just fine. I found this pattern just by Googling free sock pattern for a bulky weight yarn. Um, Cause I had this bulky weight yarn in my stash for some years that my best friend gave me and I'm using it. So I'm using it right now and I'm using it to make some sacks. I also think this would be really, if I just, if you, if I just did the ribbing part with the same numbers, which is like I cast it on 40 and just kept knitting those 40 stitches, this would be a really nice um, leg warmer with a bulky weight yarn. 40 bulky weight yarn, US 8 needle. Mm -hmm. It's going back quickly. So that'll be done. As soon as I finish my tank top. Speaking of socks, my husband better be so, he better love me. He does love me. Another thing that I'm working on for him that is also a little bit of a daunting task, but it's moving along kind of quickly. It's kind of, um, What's the word I'm looking for? I want an addicting, but no. Ugh, I'm losing my words. Whenever I start working on this, I don't want to stop. It's just a, a nice knit. And this is the morning coffee socks. So if you, if you probably don't remember, in my last video, I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to talk about this because it's the, the state of my life because I've had to rip it back and start over and rip it back at least four times. Well, finally, we finally have made it. We've made it past. <laughs> and we're at the heel. I'm turning for the heel right now by doing um, German shirt row heel. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about the German short row heel. I do like how it looks on the knit side, but I don't really like how it looks on the purl side. And for this particular sock, it is meant to be on the purl side. Um, so there's that. I'm really hoping that this is going to fit Mason the way I want it to. It looks kind of small, but it stretches and he likes this tight fitting sock. I like a tight fitting sock. So that's what we're going for. And I think it's going to work out because this sock, 
would be loose for me. If I put this in my, if I tried this on, it would be loose. It would, yeah. So this is the morning coffee socks and I'm using Woolen Vines yarn in the colorway Venus Flytrap. No, succulents, 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 succulents. Isn't that pretty? I think it's so pretty. Okay, that's the morning coffee. So that's all of my whips, that's all my FOs. The things that I'm gonna cast on as soon as I finish with my whips are, at some point, another peasant top using this yarn that I re recently got in the mail. Came in this little bag. It's like when you look in this bag, it's happiness. <laughs> oh my gosh do you see this do you see this this is the wander flock hand dyed yarn and the color tie-dye cosmic tie-dye it's 75 percent um merino and 25 percent nylon and then we have over here 72 percent kid mohair and 28 percent silk in the same colorway cosmic tie-dye oh. i'm i cannot wait to kick this up and and work on this this is gonna be my happy pickup my happy, my happy pickup. Cause I will say I worked through that peasant top really quickly. There was just something about just pure stock in it and just being able to take it anywhere, put it in your back cause it's not a really big uh, top. It was just fun. It's still fun. I like it. So cosmic tie dye, it's going to be my peasant top. Cannot wait. For my son, that's in here. I've already got it situated, ready to rumble and roll. This is gonna be the mini Montrealer for my baby. And he specifically asked for rainbow stripes. So I bought minis that came kicked up already. And I got all the rainbow. <laughs> it's a mess in here. And, and white. So I got all the rainbow. And then, um, the white. And this is a different color blue. So I'm just gonna use all those colors for his sweater. And it has a hoodie on it, which I should, I'll, I'll probably post a picture. But this bag, did, did I tell you? The bag, I made the bag. It's the Eileen bag. It's in my Raverly, if you look up Eileen. Um, made at 100% cotton. I got some like cheap cotton online for like, I don't remember, but it came in like these little 50 gram balls. So yeah. Next thing I really want to cast on before, oh, I need to cast it on like right now. It's going to be the pumpkin sweater. All the balls are in here, <laughs> all the skeins. The pumpkin sweater, Swish DK from Knit Picks. And this is what the pattern calls for as well. Same color way, I think. If it's not the same color way, it's at least the same brand. And um, kind of yarn under the brand. Swish. 
Um, I can't wait to wear this one. It's gonna be a fitted and it's gonna have a pumpkin on it. Oh, I have to show a picture. Ah, so cute. Remember that thing that I said I wanted to cast on last video? Well, I still want to cast it on, but what I have done so far is I have kicked it up. It's so pretty. I really, 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 really love this color. And it's gonna be so cute, I can't wait. And then the next thing I also wanna cast on, and the last thing is the Turtle Dove Sweater by Spoxico. It's a free pattern. I'm using Woolfolk Loft, Loft, Woolfolk, Woolfolk. Yeah, Woolfolk yarn. Um, it just tells me color 28. And it's 100% Ovis 21 Ultimate Merino Wool. Whatever that means, it feels awesome. It's super light and soft. It's gonna be such an airy and quick knit as well because it's knit up in size US 10 needle. So come through quickness. I'm excited for that one as well. It's kind of like a turtlenecky sweater. Who likes to have a cold neck? Not I. So yeah, that's all the things that I've made, the things that I want to make. And until next time, happy knitting, guys. <laughs>